Hey, what's up everyone? So on this episode of Roscoe's Reef, what we're dealing with is salt mix. So let's get to it. What's going on everyone and this week's video like I said in the opening is all about salt mix. Um, recently I had taken my powder blue tang out of the tank and that left me with five fish. Five little bitty bitty fish. Uh, I have two pair of clowns, well actually one pair of clowns, two different clowns and three <laughs> blue eyed cardinals. They're tiny fish and they do basically no swimming around my tank at all except for the clowns. Uh, but what that eliminated was a grazer. I have no grazers and, and I'm having a hair algae problem. So unfortunately, I think my nitrates and, and phosphates are going up and I'm trying to uh, take a little bit of multiple fronts on getting rid of them. One last week I started GFO we'll, and it seems to be doing its job. The hair algae is not holding on as much and it's very easy to pluck off the rock. That basically means that it's, it's starting to lose its strength. And then um, this week, what I did is I decided to do a big water change for me. 20 gallons I was gonna change out of my tank, but with me having uh, Red Sea Coral Pro as my primary salt, the alkalinity is really high out of the bucket. So I didn't wanna do a massive water change and raise my alkalinity too high and have it at adversely affect my coral. So I figured it was time for me to give the Fritz a try. The levels are more stable than um, the Red Sea Pro. We'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, but I figured doing a 20 gallon water change with their salt is the way to go and just to see how it would affect the tank. This video is gonna contain basically um, how it mixes, what the levels were straight out of the container after I mix it together and bring it up to temp. And also I wanna show you something that um, will be of interest because it means that there's new fish going to be coming into the tank soon. So my quarantine is set up and here it is. So there you have it, the quarantine is there so new fish will be coming in. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you what I'm getting, I'm gonna let that be a surprise, but uh, it should be in the next update. So with that being said, let's get to the video. What I like to do is when I open up a box of salt, and um, or even a bucket of salt, anything that's shipped in a bag like this, is uh, something that was taught to me a long time ago and something I learned a long time ago is that I'll shake it up as, and give it a, a kind of a mixing. The uh, reason behind that is that some of the elements may have settled out in the salt mix during shipping. By mixing it and shaking it up and agitating it, you're reconstituting all those elements back into the mix so that the each cup that you put in your water will have all the elements it needs to make a good mix. After this, I'll put it in my own bucket and store it with an um, airtight lid. Uh, and then from time to time, I'll be able to mix it myself again in case things settle out. Now, here it is. Uh, this is my mixing station. Basically, it's a brew container with two power heads and a heater. I make sure that I heat my uh, new water up to 78 degrees, which is what the temperature of the tank is. And I also have the two power heads to make sure that it thoroughly mixes. What will happen with this salt or any salt is when you add a large quantity of it, it may settle out in areas where the flow isn't as great or um, may have a dead spot. Depending on what size pump you use, uh, it may not all mix, so be very um, alert and ready to take your pump and move it around the bottom so this way you kick up whatever salt mix has settled out and uh, sitting on the bottom of your bucket and it'll, that pump will get that to move back up into the water column and mix properly. Now let's talk about the salt itself. I will leave a link in the description down below to Fritz's website so you can look all this information up for yourself. But basically what they say is uh, the salt is a complete professional marine salt mix for reef or fish only systems. It contains all major, minor and trace elements. It has enhanced buffering levels, reaches a stable pH shortly after mixing. It has enhanced calcium, magnesium and potassium levels and it's uh, nitrate, phosphate and ammonia free. 
the other thing I found out when I was doing the research on this product at the website is that the RPM salt is made totally in-house by them. It's not outsourced to anybody and it's made in small batches so that it meets up to their quality control standards. Also that all the equipment used in the production is totally dedicated to the production of salts so this way it prevents cross-contamination. Now before um, I get back to this I just wanted to show you, I'm going to speed up the process here and um, show you how quickly this salt does mix and, and clear up in the water. It took roughly about 5 to 10 minutes for it to mix thoroughly and clear up and be ready to go. Now also, what I've uh, getting back to uh, the research I did on this, each batch is assigned a lot number and tested by uh, in-house quality control to ensure that its chemical quality and purity uh, is meets up to their standards before it's shipped. So uh, uh, there was a lot of things that surprised me about their whole process in making the salt, and uh, I, a lot of things I didn't learn know about Fritz before that. Now you'll be able to see what I mean about the salt not mixing properly. You can see the bottom of the container now. In all that white is salt that hasn't mixed in the first go round. So I pull the pump off and just move it around the bottom to make it shoot back up into the water column and usually this will be all you need to do to uh, mix it properly and here's the result crystal clear water all ready to go and put in your tank so now let's move on to testing what I wanted to do now is compare what results I got from my test equipment to what they say that their salt mixes up to I went to the website checked it out and they show their parameters on their website and here they are they say that calcium mixes up between 400 and 450 ppm, magnesium 1300 to 1400 ppm, alkalinity 8.0 to 9.0 dKH, strontium 9 ppm, potassium 400 ppm. I do not have a strontium or potassium test kit, so I'm not going to cover uh, testing those in this uh, video. I used my HANA alkalinity checker and also my Red Sea uh, foundation test kit to test out uh, calcium, magnesium, and alkalinity. And the results that I got um, were pretty close. I will give it that. And here's, here's exactly what I got from my test results. So the first thing I tested, of course, was alkalinity because out of all my test kits, it's the HANA makes it the easiest test. Um, this again is about two hours after mixing. It's up to 78 degrees and 8.7 is what I what I got. Now as far as the rest of the results, here they are. So at the salinity was 1.026. Calcium uh, came in at 420 ppm. Magnesium came in at 1300 ppm. And as I just showed you, alkalinity was 8.7 dKH which gave me a good feeling because the numbers that I got, I performed these tests twice and got the same numbers each time. The numbers that I was getting would fell right in line with what they were putting on their website. So again, the magnesium, a little on the low side for me, but no big deal. It's falls in my parameters and um, I can do a large water change with this salt and have total confidence that I'm not gonna shoot my levels up to a point that I don't want them to be at. Uh, again, like I said in the beginning, Red Sea to me coming in at a, a higher DKH if I was to do a large water change with it would make me feel uncomfortable because I would feel like I'd be pushing my DKH way up and maybe having a bad reaction uh, between that and my corals. So my impressions of Fritz RPM is that the levels are at a point where I could do a large water change, my levels will be fine they'll be all perfect and I can continue to dose and not worry about my levels going even higher after after a massive water change or a large water change uh, like I said to me 35 gallons and roughly in the course of about two weeks uh, is a large water change for me and with the levels being on point as they are in the RPM salt I had no problem my corals didn't have any issues and everything's going strong so you may want to check it out. Again, I'll leave a link down in the description down below uh, to Fritz's website and also uh, to the product itself and a place you can pick it up. Uh, so check it out. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to drop them down below as well. And uh, let me know if you give it a shot and uh, what your opinion is and what your uh, experience is with Fritz RPM. I'd like to hear about it. 
Well, that's going to be it for this uh, video. If, you, Like always, if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell so that you get notifications on uh, future videos. If you're a returning subscriber, I appreciate all your support and your help in making it such a success as it's been so far. So, until next time, this is Scott, and I will see you all soon around the reef tank. Thank you for watching this episode of Roscoe's Reef with Scott. As always don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe.